Hi everyone, this is the first lesson for the A2 kinematics. It's, the big pack is split into two, so this one's about projectiles. It's about four lessons long. I'm on the five minute video, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, so it'll feel like there's a lot of it. Right then, are we ready? So, it talks about projectiles. Hang on, the board's not working properly. Uh, and a projectile is just an object which is dropped off from footballs, missiles, arrows, or something like that. The trajectory is a path it follows, and it tends to do like a, um, well, it says parabolic curve, but an N-shaped curve, an upside-down uh, quadratic. So, we treat the object as a particle, so we assume it, uh, where is it, it does not spin. The spin causes us lots of issues, and we ignore air resistance. Nah. Um, so the only force acting on it is its weight. So you're looking at gravity pushing down at you. So because there's no air resistance, we assume that it's symmetrical. If there was air resistance, it'd kind of push it down. It wouldn't be symmetrical. But we, we kind of like have assumptions to make it a little bit easier. Uh, so the initial speed is called the speed of projection. I've never heard it called the speed of projection. But never mind. There. And the angle alpha is the angle of projection. Wowzers. Now. So the initial velocity, because it's a vector, can be resolved in two dimensions. So if you imagine this one, this, this vector here was actually there. So this one's opposite. So losing like a little triangle. Uh, if that's you, then that's there. So I could do like the um, sine of alpha is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is u. So that would mean that u sine alpha is whatever's opposite the angle. So this would be, this component would be u sine alpha. If I looked at cos alpha, that would be the adjacent over u. So u cos alpha is my adjacent. So this component, the one at the bottom, is u cos alpha there. So it says the horizontal component is u cos alpha. And the vertical component is u sine alpha. So it says vertical motion. It's a lot of my theory, sorry guys. So vertical motion of a projectile got a constant acceleration due to gravity, and it's either 10, 9.8, or 9.81. If it was 10, we'd leave our answers to one sig fig. If it's 9.8, two sig figs. If it's 9.81, three sig fig. So that determines the level of accuracy. Uh, so the SUVAT formula applied vertically, use a vertical component. So my velocity going up is u sine alpha. Um, so the vertical velocity changes over time because it's affected by gravity. So as soon as you fire it off at an angle or fire it up, gravity is pushing it back down. So it's affecting the vertical component of velocity. In terms of the horizontal velocity, get a bit twitchy about this because it comes from using a SUVAT with A as being zero. So my A is zero, so it's come from uh, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So it's come from S equals UT plus a half AT squared, where A is zero. And I think people are over, make it too easy. Well, I've got 20 seconds left to write this down. So the horizontal stays the same. Uh, stays the same because it's not affected by gravity. So vertical is, horizontal isn't. Right, I'll finish that first page, five minutes in. 